Oh, oh. oh and he's all gone. The <laughs> all right, well, welcome to Audio Nonsense, episode one, post week one episode. I'm here with uh, Melly G, my teammate on TA Whooper, and Jacob from I forgot your team's name. What is your team's name? Bloom Gaming Lotus. Bloom Gaming Lotus. Best team. Best team. Name's too mm -hmm. long. Like no, our logo's the best though. I would I would say the second best team, but you kind of rolled us in scrim, so I have no right to have an ego right there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So I guess I guess quick introductions. Um, I'm Ishan. This is my first season playing in BOL, and I'm on TA Whooper with Melly. I'm the mid laner. Um, yeah, Melly. Uh, I'm Melly. Uh, I think this is my third time in BOL. Um, I am the ADC, uh, and I don't like it here. All right, Jacob. <laughs> uh, I am Jacob. I am the mid laner for Bloom Gaming Lotus. And uh, I don't like it here either. I think it's oh. my f first. I think it's my first season of BOL. I might have played like filling in random games, but I never like started. So. All right. And uh, how did your how did your week one match go? Uh, we hit him with a we hit him with a clean two zero. I mean, not not so clean from me specifically. <laughs> I think game one I was zero three at ten minutes. So we don't worry about that. But I don't know. We got the two zero. We got the dub, uh, and there, there's not much to say. I mean, my top laner Zik is kind of just an animal. So, <laughs> Who is what are you supposed to do? Uh, we were against uh, average, average Joe's. Shows. Yes. Right. Really made a pun about that earlier. Nice sure. logo, by the way. <laughs> I love it. It's so sick. I I would have to agree with the team. Are we one against logos? Five guys, one king. But unfortunately, we also two would them. Almost perfect game, <clears throat> game one. Um, second game, not so much. That was a bit sloppy. But we, we came out with the 2-0. Um, so yeah. Um, I guess if you haven't joined the Discord yet and you're watching and you want to talk about anything related to BL Plat, I'll put the Discord in chat. Make sure to go and join that. Um, we have... Is, is Zik going to join the waiting room? Zik, are you here? Oh, not Zik. Andy. I don't know why I thought Zik posted it. <laughs> if it's if Andy will go ahead and join the waiting room, we can drag in here to talk about your take. And uh, I think we could definitely have input on that based on the fact that Five Guys One King is the team we went against. Mm -hmm. And the, the take is that uh, Five Guys One King is the worst team in Shreema Division. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if I want to agree or disagree because um, how does that make us look? Better than them. <laughs> <laughs> but how much better? But like, you would prefer if they were the best or exactly. the second best because that would mean yeah. that you're the best. That's that's true. I think that was the hardest team to be in our division yeah so i actually think, think that take is wrong yeah no i think they're the, the best team in the league even the second best team in the league you know oh, yeah so let's so, you know us beating them kind of kind of crazy i i don't think andy's <laughs> joining mm. and uh we don't have any other takes so i guess we transition over to filler content that i had planned <laughs> respect until until if there's any takes while we're doing it though we will swap over to those or if andy joins waiting room um we can talk about five guys one king but uh for now i guess we'll skip over and do some predictions for week two mm -hmm. power rankings we can do power rankings <clears throat> rather do power rankings or predictions uh Wait, Trick Slide, do you, wanna, do you wanna join in and do some power rankings with us? Your power rankings and then predictions, that makes the most sense. You know, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. No. I can't. Okay. Wow. Well, that's fine. We can we can do some we can do some power rankings. Alright. 
Let's see here. This is gonna be scuffed, but it'll work. <laughs> you want to start with Freljord? Uh, yeah, I guess we can start with Freljord. Let me open up the match histories and swap over here. All right. Take a look at that. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> All right. Uh, what are the teams? Let's list the teams off first. Um, Master McNasty. Is that a team name? Yeah. That's yes. crazy. I love that. I'm just going first to go for it. Last. Yeah. And then Dorado Gaming Iota. <laughs> Elysium Shield. <clears throat> Con Esports uh, C. C, like the letter C? Yeah. All right. And then Glacial Frost. CB Heist. And TD Unknown. TD Unknown. All right. That is, what, seven teams? Yep. Yes. Right. So, what are we thinking here? Um, you need to do a little perusing. Yeah. Uh, okay, so first of all, um, Drado Gaming Iota is last. Drado Gaming Iota is last? Is that is that like yep. bias? Or that... are they actually just? <laughs> <laughs> I just like going against the grain. Nah, I mean. Okay. Um. I didn't watch their games, but my boy uh, Corey JJ is oh. their ADC, and he is the goat. And I love him. They kind so, of rolled CB Heist, and I thought CB Heist. I did see that. Pretty good. It was not even so close. I'm down, I'm down <laughs> to, like, tentatively so. put them at first. We can adjust as we go. Mm, and I think we yeah. can put. I think we should put Con uh, Esports C last because they didn't play. Oh, they didn't play. Then yeah, we have to put them last yeah. right now. Who, who, who are they against? No, oh, it's seven teams. Oh, yeah, right. Sean. Okay. Numbers, numbers matter. Then I'm just not gonna put them on the list. I mean, just put them in a DNP. Yeah, I guess. That works. Okay. Then, who did play? <laughs> um, everyone else. Everyone else? True. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put... <clears throat> I think, for now, I'm just gonna stick CPI's fourth. Because I still think the roster looks really good. Diodo, or Dorado just looks even better. Mm -hmm. I'm down to put TD Unknown last. Um, cause I know that their roster is incomplete currently because they're missing their main mid laner due to eligibility issues. Uh, yeah, which team is that? TD Unknown? Yeah. Was, how did, how did their week one go? Uh, O2. O2 against O2. two. Um. Elysium Shield. Ah. Which I would say is a, a mid team. Yeah, I mean, we scr I think we scrimmed them and went. I think we were rough, like pretty. I don't even. remember then. Like, it was a bit remember. ago. I think we're pretty even yeah. though. But I'm definitely I'm down to put TD unknown last for now. And where were we thinking for Elysium Shield then? Like third for now. Mm. Even though they went too well, I don't know if they're better than CB Heist. Ooh. I mean. <clears throat> hmm. I just definitely think Dorado Gaming is just that much better than that's possible. The pool. Your game two is competitive against Iota. Hmm. I I think I can agree with that. Even though it doesn't look it, yeah, it. I, th I think I'm fine with putting CPI's third, but I don't think we can put them second on a loss. No, no, no. I was thinking. Uh, CB Heist fourth, and then, um, Elysium fifth. Wait, would, would that be playing? Never mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Pit Heist, uh, third. Hold up, hold up. I may have messed up everything. Give me one second. Okay. <laughs> well... This guy, man. <laughs> I'm really good at messing up everything. So, draw to first for sure. Who did we have third? CB Heist? Uh, and then fourth, Lizim Shield? Fifth. Fifth, Lizim Shield on a 2 0? Okay, no fourth. And then Glacial fifth. 
Glacier got O2'd by Master of Nasty, right? I don't know yeah. if I want to put Master of Nasty second, though. It was pretty, like, was it, convincing that one wins. Sided? Okay. I guess we can do that. Okay. And then... Mm. Khan did not play. Does that look good? That's what I see. I'd be down for Stop it, yeah. spelling unknown wrong. Yeah. Spell yeah. Oh what? my god, I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have I done that? Like five. I, I fixed it every time except this one, though. <laughs> my eyes. Oh no, it's Caxi. Okay. So are these good? Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna stick them. Any, in any opinions you have here, Jacob? Um, can I be honest? I don't really know much about any of these people. <laughs> I see the scores. Yeah, I don't know the players very much, though. Yeah, fair fair. Enough. I think like mostly we're basing these off of week one results. So that's fair. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I do yeah. know I do know some of the people on each team. I know a few other people, yeah, but not not too many. Okay. So next is Ixtal. Yeah, Jacob's uh, division. I yes. Guess. Yes. So who do you think is number one, Jacob? Um, uh, I mean, it's gotta be, it's gotta be Bloom Gaming Lotus, no? I'm gonna type out who else could it be? First. Yes, you can go Team ahead Cosmic, and do that. Team Cosmic Genesis. God of Gaming Lotus looks pretty good too. Yeah. Okay, my support is in the Twitch chat flaming me for some reason. But they complimented you right after. But the first one was hurt more. Mm. Sure? Yeah, it did. <laughs> I'd sure? rather be dumb and really smart than cute what? and stupid. Wait, dumb and really smart? Yeah. Fuck no. No, no 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 no! You just answered it. No 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 no! I mean I meant, I meant I'd rather be ugly and really smart, mm, as I opposed think, to cute and not smart at all. I think your support just uh, kind of on the ball with that one. Use. My support is pushing thirty, and he is a like two trick, so I don't want to listen to what he says. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Going Ghost did not play. Going Ghost did not play? Yep. Alright. Okay. Then the other six. Um. That's so we just. Uh, we're, we're, we're okay putting average Joe's six, right? I think so. Like, Rude. That, like, that was the stompiest <laughs> game of the week, or series of the week, in that division. And I don't, like, all the other ones were like, uh, <clears throat> Cosmic Genesis was pretty stompy too. Not as stompy though. Yeah. The other ones are just so much closer. Like, Average Joe's did not stand a chance. And I think because of that, I think, I think Jacob was on to something. Respect. Wait, I forgot their name again. Ooh. Bloom Gaming Lotus. Bloom Gaming Lotus. Oh my god, man. man Come on. Oh, what happened that second game for Moo and then Half Moon? Mm -hmm. Moving and half moon, second game. It was a 27 game. minute game, but so many kills. <laughs> oh my god, there's like two kills a minute. What happened? Uh, I think... Blood. I think Zed versus Jace mid happened. That's what it looks like to me. <laughs> what do you mean? Volley I think Volleybear pick. split push to oh end the game. God. Wow. Ah. And look at all the CS counts. No one farmed. It's just all <laughs> killing each other. <laughs> that's my. That's the best kind of League of Legends. Ziggs I like farm. that. Ziggs farm. <laughs> oh god, Bozo's popped off game one. Hmm. Yeah, he went crazy. I think. I think we put I Moo think... second. I think so. And then we, we have to put half moon. <clears throat> the other team, the Team Cosmic Genesis third. Then. Yes. Yeah. Because they also two. There were so many twos this week. Like We're already making a, uh... a clear upper and bottom half. Yep. 
and I think Mystic. Mm, I mean, okay, Team Cosmic Genesis' rosters and Dark Moose rosters on paper look, like, fairly even. And, what's it Ooh. called? Um, Mystic Cat's White got stomped way harder. Yeah. They need to have, man. It's hard to make these off of one week, but, like, this is kind of all we have to go off of. So I think we went yes. Mystic Cat's White. You are third. <laughs> Who do they go against next? Week? Deal with it. Oh, I just want to check. We don't really go to that later. Do better. <laughs> do better. Get fifty kills next week. Jesus. Okay, but all the series were turbo stomps in your division. Yeah, they were. <laughs> like, like all of them were two O stomps. Yeah. So like one through three is like really hard to tell off one week when they were all stomps. But we had the fastest game average out of everyone. Did so it? yeah, we did. <laughs> Uh, one second um, over uh, or under Bloom Gaming Lotus. <laughs> it was the second fastest. One second? My one second. <laughs> Dorado Gaming like in the, series... Like of the whole week? Yeah. Okay, but Archer, Dorado Gaming oh, Series damn. were also both <clears throat> sub 30 minutes. And was your guys' too? Yes. Both, uh, both of ours were sub 30. Both of, like, all of them were just hyper stomps. There wasn't any close series this week mm -hmm. in that division. Like, not even close to being close. Like They were all sub-30 yeah. minute to us. Archer, there's four minutes between your guys' game times and ours. <laughs> so, uh, get better, kid. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Actually, I'm capping. Elysium Shield had the fastest game times. Did they? Yeah, what's up with your math, dude? And they 2 owed? Yeah. And you put them fourth? Yeah, I think Melly's a bit of a No reason I think because you're a bit lost. TD Unknown doesn't have a complete roster. I mean, so that's why I think I those that is game times reason. are skewed. I guess that is a reason. I mean, it's still changing and, now, but I don't know. Like, I they feel have like CB Batman it's and close. yeah, it's close. I went up three ranks this week. Okay, then next week we'll put you higher. If you like do better or like do the same honestly because <laughs> like i doubt every team just every all three of those teams are just gonna keep who are they down. against who are you guys against, next they against? Week? let's see average oh, we'll do that later all right you guys do that later, right, you... we'll do that later predictions right oh uh, yeah well, yeah we can do predictions after this okay <laughs> next frally i keep mixing them up shrima right shrima shrima there you go. Alright, what are the teams? Uh, do, do, do. <clears throat> you got... Gaming Blue, Conduit, Boilers, Horizon Gaming, Natural, Selection Gaming, Spike Climbers, GA Whooper, and five guys, that's six guys. Five guys, one... <laughs> that's that's six <laughs> <laughs> okay so who didn't play i think it was ape right? it was ape okay okay so before coming into this week when i looked at the teams i thought condo and boilers was just gonna be number one but then they locked and lost to natural selection gaming so I think I kind of have to put them number one. Like, we may have stomped the hardest, but I think <laughs> Five Guys, One King may just not be it. <laughs> does that, does that mm. seem fair? Putting sure. energy first? <clears throat> Go for it, dude. Yeah, I would say so. Even though they 2 one and we 2 would I think they were against a much better team. I mean... There's not much you can do for that game one when you're against a Seraphine Tarek lane. <laughs> Someone played Seraphine Tarek? Did uh, you guys play Seraphine Tarek? No. Conduit uh, Boilers did. And that's their that's their uh, one game one. That's the one game they won? Yeah. Mm. Interesting. Okay. Damn. So ban that out, guys, and they will never get a win. <laughs> <And then laughs> I like their top player's name. <laughs> Zork. 
<laughs> Zork. Zork. I like that a lot. You like Zork? Zork and Zick? <laughs> Zork and Zick. Zork and Zick. I think we're better than Horizon Gaming. We skipped one. I think Conduit Boilers is third. Was it, Did Horizon Gaming like stomp their series? Yeah, two O's. Like spike climbers. Was but... they really close to us though? Let's see. Uh, thirty-three minute game. <clears throat> no, like thirty-three no objectives and lost. Second game was a little closer, like objective wise. I can I can speak a bit for this team though. Okay. I know some of the fellows on this support Soul Herder, my goat, my buddy. Mm -hmm. He's goaded with the sauce. Um, I also know they're mid tier. He played for Stun for a bit, so I know him from there. Uh, they're both they're both solid. I think they're both pretty goaded. I mean, I'm looking at these games. Sure, they might have been like a little lengthy, but I mean, they weren't they even got... lengthy. Most of the games here were just so short that they seem longer in comparison. Lengthier. Yeah. <laughs> But, I don't I mean, know. You look at the comps, right? Like, game one, it's like, it, it it could be argued that they have good siege, but game two, they don't. So that's mm. a normal game time. Yeah, especially for an ASOL, ASOL yeah. Jace. True. Hmm. Okay, well, I think... My input. I think second either don't wanna, is us. Don't want to <laughs> make you place your yourselves lower no 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 no. I, I think this is for third fourth i think second like oh, our fun. game times were like the fastest of week one and we two owed besides besides shield <clears throat> so i think it's, it's hard to not put us like at least second we almost think... perfect game to game mm -hmm. i think i think we were the closest looking to objectively game. i think we are second in after post week one um I think third. There is the fact that you guys are trash, though. Oh. There is that problem oh, that you have to consider. That would, There's that, would that variable. Be an issue. Mm, let's just scrim again and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Sure yeah. thing. Saturday. Anyways, um. <laughs> so third. Well, wait, that was what we were talking about, right? We're between Horizon Gaming yeah. and um, Conduit for third. I don't know. I mean, like I said, I think because. <clears throat> They didn't really have any shining points for Conduit Boilers mm -hmm. besides the Seraphine Tarek. I mean, I the think, other ones, I think looking, it looks... at, looking at just the week one matches alone, I think it's pretty obvious to put Horizon here. Mm -hmm. But I think Conduit's mm -hmm. roster and Natural Select Nutrition Gaming's roster both look better on paper than Horizon Gaming, and I think they'd both beat Horizon Gaming. But it's hard to tell. Yeah. So like, I think just I, right I now. Think, I think... I would put Conduit Boilers third, but if we're just going off week one matches, then Horizon Gaming would be third here. Yeah, I think we for this one, it's just week by week. Yeah, so I would put Horizon Gaming here, and then Conduit Boilers fourth, and then um, Spike Climbers. Spike Climbers fifth, and five guys, one king, sixth. Oh. Biolers? Did I not? Oh, I did. I did spell Biolers. I can type. I promise. <laughs> Biolers is it. crazy. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. So I think what that's the that division. Ishan. Yo. Now that we finished the power rankings, what are the top three teams across the entire Plat League to look out for? Is that what Chicksaw asked? Yeah. Chicksaw. I have no idea. <laughs> I I, I been, have an idea. I, mean, I guess if we're going like off of this, then it would be a natural selection gaming, Boon gaming, Lotus, and Drado gaming, Iota. <laughs> if we're going off mm. the power rankings we just made. I disagree. Well, there could be a group that's stronger than that, another that's one. That's true. I think our group is kind of baby group, to be honest. <laughs> so. Yep. I personally think like, Drado gaming, Iota. I think Moo actually takes that as well. That's fair. <laughs> Blue. I think Bloom. I would have to go Bloom. There you go. I... Correct. Correct take. I'd probably agree. I'd probably agree. <coughs> Rather just creates so, so many Gaming strong teams. It's so annoying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a bit. It's a bit. It's a bit wacky. 
If we don't go undefeated in our group, it's a failure. I mean, mm. I think well, any team. We'll, would... we'll just have to see what, what you do against Dorado. And hey, I'm... Team Cosmic Genesis looks good too. Don't worry about it. Team Cosmic Genesis. <laughs> don't looks even good worry too. about it. I don't know. I think Going Ghost is a dark horse. I mean, they haven't played. <laughs> <laughs> My teammates are in the chat uh, saying that I shouldn't have said that. I've scrimmed against three fifths of Going Ghost when we were both gold teams. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I don't know. Personally, I feel like <clears throat> we never had trouble beating them. And that was mm -hmm. when our team was on average a lower elo than we are right now. They could have gotten better, for all I know. And the two other players, like the solo laners, could be like insane. But from what but I But I was also the jungler played... at the time. And I think I'm a better jungler than Chris. Oh. I wouldn't agree, but... What do you mean? <laughs> I can play Maokai. <laughs> Again, he just refuses to. <laughs> no, he tried. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he should put that in the back burner, bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa Chris, chill. Well, Chris, <laughs> chill. <laughs> okay. So are we going to get to this question from Debria? Debria? What was the no, we're going to talk about that? <laughs> okay. <not>. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I mean, do you agree? I mean... What uh, question? Oh, he deleted it. It's gone. Oh. What question? All right, never mind All right uh, next yep. question. Billy is a weenie. No opinion. Um. Mm, I agree. Oh. Who's Billy? Billy Willard. Billy Willard. Who's that? <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> I think that's all that needs to be said. Okay. No, no, no. I think Trixler means um, like, hey. which pool's the strongest. Uh Oh, how yeah. do we rank each group? As which which groups are stronger than others? In in order of what they are. Um, I mean, uh, mine's pretty easy. I think it'd be Ixtal for all your trima for me. Really? Yeah, I think Ixtal's top three is really really strong. I think for Elliot has like. Okay. Yeah, as a group, I would I, yeah. I would agree. Yeah. <laughs> what about? Yeah. What? You agree? I would just think Elliot has the strongest team out of the league, but as a you think Iota is the strongest overall. team? Iota is the strongest team, but overall, probably, yeah. Like you said, Excel has the strongest three. Excel has the strongest three. Yeah. I could see it. I think it's hard to tell between Iota, Bloom, Moo, even Team Cosmic Genesis. Like, I don't think our group has the strongest team. <laughs> I think our group's pretty weak. Hey, we just get playoffs easy and win. I mean, yeah, we could, True. we could do that. That's the that's the goal. But I think as of right now, our team does. Or no, sorry, our group does not have the strongest team in the league. I think it's definitely from Ixtal and Freljord. Yep. Even CB Heist, happen? I don't know what happened. They're going to their roster looks good. They could come back. Uh. Yeah, I think. I mean. No ego, no bias. I do think Ixtal is the best because. <laughs> Team Cosmic Genesis and Dorado Gaming Mew is pretty stacked. Yeah. If we're also a good team, yeah. If we agree that we're a good team, yeah, you're. you're good. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know much about the other teams, but the top three from our division is pretty solid from what I've seen. Um, so I would probably agree with Ixtal, Freljord, Chirima, because Freljord has Iota, and yeah. some other other teams in there yeah shrima i don't have a lot of confidence in <laughs> yeah i mean i think like the top two or three in shrima might be able to make something <clears throat> happen later on yeah as of right now doesn't doesn't look so good i will not lie right, is there anything else in the channel uh, Realistically, i guess how we will see in the group go in seven weeks Rankings based on rank and week one. Oh, so Chris is asking for power rankings based on not just week one results, but also like roster strength. Mm. I mean, I think the only difference here in Shrima would be like maybe Conduit Boilers goes up to like second. But we won't know that for until week three. Yeah, yeah. But I don't. I don't think. Week, yeah. I don't think anything else on this list changes. Like, 
that drastically. At least as of right now, from what it's looking like. From week one matches and like strength of roster on paper. I think Condo Boilers maybe goes to second, maybe even first. The roster just looks really good. I don't think anything else changes. Hi, Hi Maker. How's it going? <laughs> Well, I guess we can move on to week two predictions. I guess we can. <clears throat> I guess. I guess. All right. We will start at the top. Uh, Glacial Frost against CB Heist. What are we thinking? Glacial Frost. CB Ooh. Heist. Ooh. Ooh. Pull up my match just for you. I think that's a 2-0 for CB Heist. Actually, I... 2-0. Maybe not 2 0. I mean, mm. I think before week one, I would have said 2 0 for CP Heist, but I think it's a 2 1 for CP Heist. Give it a good I'm just mm. looking at their bot lane because control mage mid lane for um, Glacial Frost. Playmaking jungler and then kind of poppy top lane. I mean. Mm. It looks like their their top side for a CB heist might have the edge. I do think it might be a wet noodle fight in the bot lane <laughs> because they both uh, just play like supportive ish. Did they Corey played Lucian? Oh no, that was that's the game I had. A... That's they played yeah, Nautilus. Like, yeah. yeah, but it's also like the other ADC plays Ash. Mm. Oh, okay, I guess. There's I like, I like CB Heist drafts more as well. I mean, both these teams got two would so it's like hard to. Yeah, it's like CB off, Heist has more of a direction. I like their drafts more because I think that their comps are more well-rounded. I feel like in both game one and two, like they got. I think they got like. <clears throat> it's. I mean, it's a great game for Gwen like Swain is really nice here into three melees four melees Ash Melio is a good combo I think the fact that they were able to pull that out of draft I mean they still like lost obviously but yeah. Toronto Iota is we think with the strongest team so I think if they continue to draft like that and play toward the composition that they make I think they have a better chance right yeah I agree Yeah, the drafts do look a lot better. Like, I don't know what the poppy's doing in either. Of these that's what I. Really. I that's what I'm looking at, right? Maybe. Like the rest of the drafts, like... pretty standard for Glacial Frost, but like, like. Well, and uh, I think the main thing. Feel really out of place. Like Braum and Gamon doesn't really feel like it fits. Yeah. Well. Poppy doesn't Brom, a little bit, but like not that much. Poppy, and also like, they lose the first game, and then they run it back with a near identical comp in game yeah. two, and that gives me worries for um, champion pool. Yeah, especially and their plans, pool, especially for top lane. I feel like because like if you look at <clears> game two, <throat> he definitely like blind picked that Poppy. I feel like I could look at the draft link, but like not looking at the draft link like. He blinded that poppy into one dash. Pull up that draft link for you. Must have like, been game like, two? Yeah, there must have been, like, multiple better champions there. To, uh, the poppy was picked on B5 when he saw Syndra, Braum, Varus, Pantheon. Syndra, Braum, Varus, Pantheon. Okay. So. Oh. Uh, he might have thought Pantheon top. Yeah. Which but still, fair, I think. But, like, still. I feel like... It's, CB Heist just look a lot better. Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> okay. So, do we think CB Heist 2 1 or 2 0? Oh? I think 2 0. Oh. I think 2 0. Oh. I think 2 1 because I want to be different. Fair enough. Alright. Yeah. Dorado Gaming Iota versus Khan Esports C. Khan didn't play. I'm going to pull up the roster real quick. Yeah, I was about to do that as well. Let's see what we got here. Okay. This supports D3. 
Okay. Um. Yeah, can I drop the hot take? Go for it. Hot? I think it's 2-1 for them. For Con Gaming City? For, uh, yeah. Oh. Really? I like... I like the diversity. I like what I see from their, uh... Just looking at, like, solo queue, I like the champs they play. I like having a support as your best player. Because uh -huh. I think... Or at least the highest ranked player. Because I think that, like... The amount of shot calling and direction that can come out of support is like unmatched. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, like they have the Rel on the board, they have Talia, Jarvin, Rumble, Zaya, Kaisa, all up there and on high win rates. Looks pretty good to me. Yeah. I mean mm -hmm. I'm gonna give it two on Iota, just because one, Iota is a more like proven factor, but also two, uh, I feel like one issue Khan could run into is it kinda looks like their top side and bot side both kind of favor weak side champs. <clears throat> yeah. Like, they, they play mm -hmm. strong side champs, but not, like, as well, it looks like. Obviously, it's hard to tell from just OP, but that's all we have, and that's kind of just what it looks like to me. I could also see it to where that support just, like, kind of takes over the map, just based on the champions that they're comfortable with. The Rel, yeah, the Rakan, the champs. Alistar. They could just, like, give the leads to their solo laners that or even their jungler, and just make plays all around the map and just kind of make it unplayable for Iota, so... Yeah. I definitely see that happen. I think it is a 2-1 as well for, uh, for Khan, actually. Yeah. Khan. Okay, one, respect. One more thing about Iota, and about on that point of the roaming support, is their mid laner is their highest ranked player by far on Iota, and on top of that, he plays a bunch of really safe champions. So I think it might be kind mm -hmm. of hard for their support to have impact around the map. Like, his most played champion is Greg. <clears throat> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I can see a Although, I think Greg right has fallen out of favor. That's Gragas. fair. I was, I was just saying as an example. Such like a good champion. a bunch of safe champs. Yeah. I get you. I can see it going out GP right mid. Now. He played GP mid, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Didn't and it kind of stomped. Alright. So, we, I guess we're kind of... Also, a point... Iota didn't have the starting mid top laner. They didn't? They didn't. They didn't? Because oh. it doesn't have games. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. So if their starting top laner gets games in, I think that could potentially change things. Maybe, yeah. Because it looks like their starting top laner is more of a carry player, and then the sub is a tank player. So mm -hmm. it could change the dynamic of Iota. It could. I think it would be even more so if it was any other role. <laughs> but because like, their top laner is their weakest role of a uh, con. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean I could see it going either way honestly, but I think I'm gonna tentatively put two O iota, or two one. Sorry, yeah. two one. Okay. All right. TD unknown and Master McNasty. That's a crazy name. <laughs> uh. Do we give a meme answer or a real answer here? <laughs> I mean a real answer. <clears throat> Fairly. Going. Uh, yeah. oh, Master McNasty. I think it's just Master McNasty. Uh, yeah, I think it's 2 1 two Master McNasty. I, I think 2 0. Oh. You think 2 0? Oh? I think 2 0. Oh. Wait, it's... let's look at the results again. Okay, if their main mid laner comes back. Oh, this is the team with the mid lane issues, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, maybe 2 0. Oh, if their main mid laner comes back, I think it's a 2 1. For still for Master McNasty? For, for McNasty, yeah. Okay, that's fair. I could see that. Okay. Next game right, is Elysium Shield as a bye week. Bloom Gaming Lotus against Going Ghost. Bloom Gaming 2 0. Respect. <laughs> like, as I said before, I've screamed against Going Ghost when. Oh, that's not what I want to put on screen. I've screamed against. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? I made for my text, it's on screen. Anyways. Um, I, I scrimmed against Going Ghost when they were a gold team and like wasn't wasn't too impressed and they have three of the same players I don't think swapping out the soul laners and maybe improving a little bit is going to be making good enough to beat Boom Gaming 
Yeah, it might be a top king of them again, honestly. Zix and her bin might come out again. Zixter. <laughs> yeah, um... I'm a little biased, but <laughs> little yeah. I'll hit him with a 2 0, because, like I said earlier, we have to go undefeated. Fair enough. Undefeated as in, like, no series is lost or no games lost? Uh, okay. <laughs> I, I won't be that ego. Okay, okay I'll say. You sure? I mean, you can. All right, we're taking no <laughs> losses, dropping no game. No. I think. I think, uh. I think at least undefeated matches. Okay. Okay. Fair. Best of threes. I can see it. I think there's I'll like, be happy. Your group is pretty strong, but I think there's only like two teams that are really big competition for you. So, I can see it. <clears throat> okay, next game is Team Cosmic Genesis against Average Joes. I think Cosmic Genesis 2 us. I don't think it's very close. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Unless, showing uh, of last week. Average Joes put on the blindfold or something. <laughs> <laughs> Not their monitors. Maybe they'll play better. Oh. Maybe. Maybe a little bit better. Alright. And then ET Can't argue with that. Mystic Cat's White. I personally think Mystic Cat's White 2 1. Ooh. Interesting one. Because both these teams lost. Yeah, now they're playing against each other. Uh... Let me. Let me pull up the match it's, results. It's, it's hard. What are we looking at here? <clears throat> it's not hard anymore. I think you're wrong, Ishan. Why is it not? Hard? Oh. I think their top lane just runs it. <laughs> it runs Good it way or bad way? The game. Runs it down. Uh, it might not matter. Uh, if Who's Iron top Boy laner just runs like, it down? Um, Mystic Cats. Okay. If, if Half Moon's top laner. Puts on his belt and just starts actually playing decent champions and like asks for resources. I think ET can take the two I, one. I don't think Mystic Cat's top laner runs it down that hard. He just like his most of his champ is just like safe tanks. He just kind of plays weak side and sucks it up and sits under tower and then is useful in team fights. Like, yeah, and when, when eight times, and so three and ten. Oh, is that how hard he ran it down? Yeah. Who is he against? Uh, is he <clears throat> uh, Meddlesome Maxi. So what team is that? Uh, Genesis. Let's check him out. He went. Uh, let's just say this. He went seven and one on the Orn. Oh. You might be onto something. Yeah. And uh, Iron Boy does play, also mainly tanks though. Yeah, that's why I said if he just <clears throat> puts his carry pants on. Yeah, like, then. if he pulls out, like, Darius uh -huh. or an Ecton or Mort or something, then, like, maybe. But it looks like he kind of just sits on weak side. Because, like, their ADC plays a bunch of strong side champs, too. Like, ADC plays, like, Kai'Sa, Draven. Like, plays some yeah, similar, like... that ADC needs a Yugo check real quick. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Which ADC? I, Ace, there's, Ace uh, 260 seal. Like, just... Play the basic stuff and let your top laner carry for once. Respect. I'm saying that, bro. <laughs> Respect. I, I still have Mystic Cat's like 2 it. I think. I don't think the top diff will be as big as you're making it out to be. Because I think they'll both be, be sitting on tanks. I believe in top laners. I say ET 2-1. Uh, I say ET 2-0. Oh. oh. Okay. Damn, Damn, you're just wrong. We'll see. <laughs> 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 Alright. Next is an NSG against us. Check if we to take this one. I feel like we might be a bit biased. Oh boy. Uh... I think it's a 2 NSG. What? Are you on? <laughs> Stay humble. I like it. Um. Yeah, I mean, it's hard not to just say that you guys probably hit him with a 2 0, I think. Oh. I mean. Hmm. Let me go take a look. Uh, I forgot who was on that team, not gonna lie. Nishi <laughs> beat Conduit Boilers, though. NSG has uh, four last split gold players. Huh. You guys are oh, against it's, NSG? It's, it's yeah. Trickler's team, though. It is Trickler's team. Ooh. 
Hmm. Right, on paper, I mean, they perform you know what? better than they look on paper. Yeah, that's fair, actually. You know what? But, like... Uh, I'll, I'll give it to you guys 2-1, okay? I think I agree. I won't, I won't shade them too hard. Like, obviously, me and Melly are biased because we're on Whooper, but I think we also 2-1. Oh. Oh, I so actually. Blade before. Yeah, I I watched these games. I remember watching them. Okay. The third game was unfortunate. Uh -huh. The top, <laughs> the top oh. matchup. I think Darius had five kills at ten minutes, oh. if I remember. That's and it looked like he did something very similar in game two. So, if oh, you it's said Trick Slayer, right? That's your yeah. friend. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, he was talking uh, chat. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hi, Trixler. But yeah. He played a Lowey, so how much does that it's like really count? Hey, okay, but mean, then he played so Darius. But he was also one that gets a Gnar, but like, Gnar's a bad champion. Gnar, but, like, Gnar, but like, Gnar has multiple ways to not die. He only died four times. <laughs> and it's Zork, bro. It's he Zork, Zork. He beats Zork. Zork is sick. Uh, I, glad they ran it down. That's all I got. Glad they ran it down? <laughs> I think you need to stop coping. <laughs> I, I think that game... Did, did, did J4, like, gank at, like, level 6 and just, like, threw the lane or something? Mm. I don't remember. <laughs> if I'm you being honest. Once you have Gore, it's Shoujin, and <clears throat> J4. How do you... That was, that was before nerf. Did it get nerfed? I mean... It, next patch. Ah. Well, then, yeah. He definitely... Got that too late. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Wait. Hmm. It was just a jungle gap. That's all I gotta say. I don't know, dude. Looks like a bit of a top gap. Looks like mm. both. Like I don't know what you guys are on about. <laughs> 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 it looks, I like, it looks, like, it looks like mid and bot side just kind of prayed for God and hoped top mm -hmm. jungle didn't. Will it be a similar story against you guys? Uh, hopefully it'll be a gap across the map, but we'll see. Oh. Yeah. I'm, my eyes are okay. on Chris. Un unironically, I think Chris will probably be the design factor. Not Who's too much Chris? pressure. Our jungler. Our jungler. Oh. If he plays like how he did last week, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Define fine. 2-1? Two one, Define two one. fine. 2-1. Two 2-1. One. Two one. I think we'll 2-1. I think. That is my prediction. Ape Gaming Blue against Horizon Gaming. Ape has pretty good teams now. Oh no, I'm thinking of monkeys, never mind. Is yeah, that the same org? No. You're thinking of literal monkeys. <laughs> hey man. I see monkey, I think same org. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, Horizon wins. Two. Have you looked at the roster? Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. They don't have an AC. <laughs> They'll have one. Yeah, I see that. I think they went 2 1. I think I would put. I... Wait, you see, uh, who doesn't have an ADC? Ape doesn't have an ADC. Ape. Yeah, I think Horizon wins. That's what I said. I think Horizon yeah. wins. I think Horizon uh... wins 2 0. Oh my god, they have a sub yeah. 3 sub. No, it's their, it's their main mid laner. AG? Yeah, don't eat bees. Nope. No. AG major. Oh, oh, I thought you said Ape, AG has an Ape Gaming. Because no. Ape Gaming has a Silver 3 mid laner. Or Silver 3 last laner. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, I give it to uh, Horizon 2 0. I'd say 2 0. I agree. Horizon. I agree. Alright. Next, and the last one is Spike Climbers against 5 Guys 1 King. I'm going to give them some respect on their name. I think 5 Guys 1 King 2 1. Oh. I mean, Ooh. Spike Climbers doesn't look very good. Oh, so I could see it. I think the mid laner is a little bit scared. I think. Who's? Which one? Uh, Spites. Spites? Played Seraphine and Chad Penguin. I mean, that's just his sample. If you look at it, it's like. He plays like. He's what, a safe champion? Wait, he's an he ABC, is he not? A Flesh? Are we talking about Flesh? Oh, oh, we're talking about Flesh. He, 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 plays, oh. he plays Nico, Nivea, Galio, Seraphine, Malphite, Aesol, Zillion. And then he plays Pantheon. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. So he plays a bunch of like safe, supportive champions, and then Pantheon. Um, I would, 
I'd give it two one to hmm. This one's tough. I think if Five Guys One King drafts like how they did it in our game too, I think they could win games with against yeah, yeah, this I team. Think we can win games for sure. The other guy also plays the same stuff though. Albino Sunbear. Yeah, I mean he plays Lissandra. slightly more aggressive. But Silas yeah. plays just and E T F. Yeah. Plus just uh hopes his map doesn't fall apart around him. Which mm-hmm. I guess complements their jungler who plays like more aggressive picks. There is a division gap between the mid laners though. Yeah. But also one is platform, there's a, one is there's a two four. division gap between the top laners. Is there? More than two division two and a half division. Oh, oh yes, you're right. Yeah. Sorry, I thought. So, okay, I'm wow. Two yeah. one five guys one king. Yeah. Let's just hope their ADC shows up on time. That was so funny. We didn't know. We didn't. We, What's we the went joke? Into, we went into game one and we played it out, and then we get into game two, and their ADC types in chat. Sorry guys, I'm here now, and we all went. Wait, that wasn't their main ADC last game. <laughs> <laughs> None of us realized. Uh. Not a single one of us. This guy isn't familiar with our game. Five guys, one king are frauds. Ooh. Says somebody on five guys, one king. <laughs> what is that? Is that real? That's a jungler. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, respect. respect I like respect. that. All right. Well, that's predictions done. It's power rankings done. The takes channel is empty. So I think, I think that's the end of our post week one auto nonsense episode yeah Respect. if you want to be a guest for next week <laughs> then dm me um and we can we can try to work something out but for now we'll see you guys next week